figure summarizes the steps in making the slit lamp mount. The slit lamp mount is placed on the slit lamp after moving the illumination and observation columns to one side onto the slot for the focusing rod. The direct cam can then be aligned using the joystick like we do in a normal fundus camera. It is also possible to use sturdier material and to give a coat of paint to make the appearance better. But that would require professional tools and professional help. To use the direct cam as a handheld device, it can be held on the camera or the optical tube or the condensing lens as in any indirect ophthalmoscopic procedure. The camera can be used either in the video or the photo mode. Photo mode gives a better resolution. Focusing the image can be done using the touch focus option. In video mode, imaging of the peripheral retina till past planar is possible with simultaneous scleral depression. Mounting the device on the slip lamp gives a better stability and control and gives very good quality pictures. The images thus captured can be edited on the smartphone itself using Adobe Photoshop Express. The images are opened in the Photoshop Express and various parameters can be corrected including removal of the central reflections using the blemish removal tool. Finally, after rotation and cropping of the images, a circular black mask can be applied which gives the picture a similar appearance that of the normal fundus camera picture. Fundus videos can also be captured using the direct cam. This helps us to evaluate dynamic changes in the fundus. In the video mode, using simultaneous clearal depression, one can image up to the past planner. To capture stereo fundus photographs of the peripheral retina and also in retinopathy of prematurity. This image shows a stereo view of pars planus. This picture shows a stereo view of stage 2 ROP with popcorn lesions. The mount of the depressor is clearly visible on stereo view. Using matched fluorescent filters, we have successfully performed fluorescein angiography and angioscopy using the direct cam. This is a case with asteroid hylosis and one can make out in the early phase there is macular ischemia and large area of capillary non-perfusion. In addition, there is neovascularization on the disc also.